Maverick Robotics immediately places a cone as well as Penn placing a cube for the Blue Alliance. And we've got a cone cube also placed by Slicer Tech for the Red Alliance. And it looks like Hatchet Robotics is also able to place a cube for the Blue Alliance during the autonomous period. And Castle Robotics is able to place a cone on that top row for the Red Alliance in their co-op grid. Maverick Robotics places a cube on the top row for the Blue Alliance. And it looks like Penn has moved into action. Golden Rooks coming back over with a cube. Unfortunately, they launch it just off base. Slicer Tech coming in and placing a cone in the wrong position for the Red Alliance, but I'm sure they'll be able to get it sorted out. Castle Robotics places a cube for the Red Alliance into that top co-op grid position. Maverick Robotics coming in to place a cone for the Blue Alliance, and they're able to successfully place it. We've got Slicer Tech trying to grab a cube for the Red Alliance from their loading zone. Meanwhile, Castle Robotics is coming in with a cone for the Red Alliance, trying to figure out where they want to place it. Looks like they're trying to line up to get that top link in that co-op grid. And they're able to successfully complete their link, not only getting five points for the cone, but an additional five points for the link. Golden Rooks coming in with another cube. And they're able to place it into that low row on their outer grid. <laughs> Castle Robotics grabs another cone, hoping to place it for the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, the Getty Goats start getting docked and engaged on their charge station. We've got Hatchet Robotics on the Blue Alliance doing the same. Joining them is the Golden Rooks. Looks like Castle Robotics fell off, but we're able to get right back onto the charging station. Now they're just working with their Alliance member to try to get it engaged. They still have a few seconds left to do so. It looks like Red Alliance is also working on getting their engagement. And unfortunately, neither Alliances are able to do so in that time required. But let's see how these scores shake out. And we are ready to see those scores. The winner is the Blue Alliance. With the final score of 84, earning them two ranking points.